Mm, we are gonna continue with the side quest. We have one here, and that's the even weirder science one. It's over here. But we have plenty more to do. Get it, boy! <laughs> and some Maybe pets for Torgal. It's not enough just giving him some snacks. We need to pet Torgal. Do you see we got plenty left? Do we go to Tabor? Mm. Don't know which one I want to start off with. Either way... We should probably also go and check if we got any letters. We probably do. Hmm? Well, there's one close by. Can't go through the window. Cyril! Lord Rosfield, is there aught the Undying might assist you with this day? Perhaps. My brother said that your order was helping him with his quest to uncover Ultima's origins. Have you learned anything of note since last we spoke? Little and less, I regret to report. I see. Be assured, however, that we will not rest until the truth is known. Even now, our archaeologians scour ruins in every corner of the realm for traces of Ultima's touch. Fallen ruins, I take it. Dating back as far as Phoenix Gate. Indeed. Ultima's thralls are oft sighted among the remnants of the fallen civilization, as if protecting the secrets concealed within. We want secrets those secrets! Unearthed. Should our methods be of interest, my lord, Mayhap it would please you to observe some of our number at work. Would that be possible? Of course. A survey has been conducted not far from here. Perchance you are familiar with Kretov. A small hamlet built around a fallen airship. I was due to visit my colleagues there to collect their preliminary findings, but... If you would consent to do so in my stead... I'm sure that they would be honored to relate any discoveries they have made to you directly. Sounds good to me. All right. I'll go and meet with them. They will be most gratified, I am sure. Might I suggest you take the road through Titan's Wake? It will lead you straight to the village after but a short walk. Thank you. I will. I wish you a safe journey, my lord. May the Firebird's flames burn ever in your heart. Duty undying. Mm-hmm. Make for Kretov. A village built around an airship. Sounds like another lost wing. I hope the inhabitants are just as friendly. Uh, let's... Not jump to conclusions, but we can hope. What? That road seemed closed off. But maybe something Come on. is triggered Master. when we go there? Don't mess with Ambrosia! Oh, that animation is so fun. Ambrosia, you're a pretty OP. You don't even need an icon or any magical powers. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it again. Can we? No. Ah. Why not? That would have been fun, though. 
They had to nerf Ambrosia somehow. Let's take care of this wizard. <laughs> oh man, this looks so funny. <laughs> Come on, Ambrosia. <laughs> what? What? How did you survive Ambrosia? Hey, hey, where are you going? Okay, this ain't where we're supposed to be going. Darn it, inaccessible. It, it does say that as well. So, lines in the sand is there. Hmm. I really wanted to do that one, though. No mistakes. We just sucker punched and run for it. Oh. Then it seems like when we're safe. gonna continue with the main quest, it says speak with Otto across the narrow. So... Well, it was for real inas inaccessible, so... The only million. Let's do the lines in the sand one. But why give me a quest that's closed hey, off to me? Clive! To what do I owe the pleasure? I just wanted to see how the town's been faring since you brought everyone together. Uh, since we brought everyone together? All is absolutely wonderful. Conrad and Natalie's hands remain safely away from each other's throats and firmly at the helm. Our stores are full and the bandits still too disorganized to raid them. Just as the good Lady Jane and Lord Underhill intended. Are you a lord? Lubor's going to be one too. They're going to make him the Lord of Dalamil. Because of how he stopped all the grown-ups from fighting. It's the Mayor of Dalamil, dear child. And the vote hasn't taken place just yet. But if the people wish me to lead them, I shall. And my first act will be to build a school so that menaces like you two learn not to interrupt your elders. Speaking of menaces, there may be a rather worrying one just over the horizon. Hmm. May there indeed. I'm afraid the example Conrad and Natalie set in putting aside their differences in presenting a united front might have caught the bandits' attention. And Is they that so? might have elected to take a similar approach. They have formed what one could call a League of Outlaws. And they grow more organized by the day. But we'll fight them all off just like last time. No matter how many of them there are. Won't we, Lubor? Of course we will. If we continue to work together, we can overcome any challenge we choose to face. The longer we avoid facing this one, the more difficult it will be, until the only way to overcome it might be to run for the hills. Our best hope is to nip these efforts at organization in the bud, by finding those ne'er-do-wells who have yet to join the cause, and ensuring that they never do. Perhaps a certain Lord Underhill might be willing to lend us his aid once mm -hmm. more? He just might. How could I refuse? Right. Thank you, my lord. Victor will fill you in on the particulars. I have him stationed by the desert gate, receiving and collating reports from my scouts. Such an amenable soul. He reminds me of you. <laughs> I'll go and speak with him. Well, Clive is better with a sword than he was with acting, so... This won't go badly. What's the difference between a lord and a mayor? That's easy. One of them swings a sword, the other forges them. <laughs> Kids. League of Outlaws. Sounds like we have some competition. But sounds like a really good idea to make Lubor a mayor. 
Since he also very much... Oh, wait, what do I have to do? Oh, can't I just remove this one? I don't want it to be on my screen. Oh, I can't? Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kosnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. But we must strike together, and we must strike soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this League of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one upriver. Just out there, across the dunes. Leave it with me. Okay, what was I even saying before? Yeah, I think it's a very good idea to make um, Lubor Dalimil's mayor because he cares for the people. And he's very bright as well. So those ne'er do wells want to band together. Let's get out Ambrosia. Yeah. So we don't have to tire Clive. <laughs> Don't mess with Ambrosia, or else we kick in. I'm actually very, very excited to uh, to continue the main quest, but I just can't. That must be the camp Victor mentioned. I Come can't on, ignore the side quests, especially not if there That's is. Him. Story behind it. And besides, we might even get to know who these fallen are. The lore seems a little bit hidden. That's also why I want to do the undying one, but. That one was closed off. Maybe we have to do the other quest for it to be accessible. If not, maybe we have to continue with the main story quest. I was also thinking about uh, the fight with Barnabas. When he split the sea out of nowhere. That was such a cool scene. Like, they have really made the coolest scene in Final Fantasy XVI. First, the fight with, with Benedicta, then Garuda, then Hugo, then with his icon. Yeah. And the Bahamut fight. That one is definitely on the top. I also like the one with uh, when uh, when Clive just accepted the truth that he was Ifrit. That was also such a cool fight and fights and also the cutscenes, amazing. I better let Victor know. Sid, where are you? Ah, I see the bandits didn't pose you any trouble. No, but that's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. We need you back in Dalimil. Oh. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. About what? They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Oh. Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape. And his oh, escape no. route took him right through Dalamal. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. And when Lubor felled him with a bolt of magic, and without a crystal. 
That's not possible. It's it a bear, is, though. It is a bear and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. Still, all those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who was made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Fuck. Oh, we need to save him. Here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. He has right. us. And also, he should have most of the people as well. He was trying to save the kids. Like, why can't they see that? I think that they have such hatred for bearers that... We might not even be able to and talk with anyone. Knows. I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. Because you tried well, to save them. It was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running. But we just couldn't anymore. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Where's the uproar? Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. There. All lies, I'll wager. Just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something. And quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. Exactly. Right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a downright born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Well, at least they're not trying to kill him or anything. Maybe it actually works to talk with them. So we were gonna go into the tavern. Why if, are you taking the if they Victor? Are you one too? You know I'm not. Just listen. These townsfolk. Anyway, if they don't accept him, then I will just take him to our hideaway. You knew Easy. all along that he was playing us for fools. And we fell for it. We followed him. A bearer. What difference does it make? That he's a bearer, he's still the exact same person. Forgive me for disturbing you, but could I have a moment of your time? Hmm, I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. Uh-huh. Uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. But what of his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. They're just so jumping to conclusions. Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. And they will thank you not to get involved. Well, they stupid if they don't accept him. Then we'll gladly take him with us. Gladly. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Bro. What? Conrad and Natalie refuse to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once oh. their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. 
All right. I don't like where this is going. It went badly with Theodore. It might go badly with Lubar as well. Oh, the hell no. To take the bear I assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But... And he's trying to be positive. But perhaps not in this lifetime, I think it's fair to say. You mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. They'll come around. We'll talk Just because he's a bearer. In the end, you'll see. No, you won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo... Rosina would often tell me... That steel does not lie. That a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true, that was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in, right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right, no matter what others might think of me. And now, I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Victor. Come on, Victor. That's not... Forget it. Do what you will. You sure you're making the right choice, Lubor? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Right there. We don't need anything. to do. If there's anything I can do. Anything. I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. He's really masking his emotions very well I don't like this I feel like this town is gonna crumble without Lubor and the kids would have possibly been dead had it not been for Lubor these towns People are just so, so dense. What should we do? Don't have a lot to do. I feel like the weirder science might not be that much fun to do in case we get to know stuff about the fallen oh get grab myself a mug of Maeve's mead settle me stomach you know before we take to the high seas sounds like a good idea you want me to pay what can I get you Sid I'll gladly do that to hear. knock them back everyone Sid's buying <laughs> Please give me a cutscene with Gav! Come on. No, it doesn't seem like there's gonna be one, so... Oh, you're not leaving already, are you? Well, I kinda have to. I 
Don't tell me we've run out of time. Let's see what we have. Oh, right, Oscar is here. My Lord Marquis, I... I heard about Eastpool, that some of my fellow guardians are to build a new home there, both for themselves and for Madame Martha's bearers. Is it true? It's true. The village is to be rebuilt. I have many fond memories of Eastpool. When I was a child, we would visit my aunt and uncle often. They would lavish attention upon me as if I were the son they never had. I went to see Aunt Hannah after my uncle passed away, but... Not nearly as often as I should have. Oscar, I'd like you to assist Sir Wade in the rebuilding efforts. But... But, my lord... Uh, you can do my it! My training is not yet complete. I, I couldn't possibly. I warned you I might not be the easiest of masters. But I'm not as hard-hearted as that. Go. Be with your aunt. Rebuild her home. It's what she would have wanted. Yes, my lord. Thank you, my lord. Clive is such a kind-hearted character. I don't think we ever had this kind of a character. Ooh, we have a lot to read. On our own terms, I regret that both you and the lump had to get all tangled up in the wicked weave of my sordid past. But thanks to your meddling, I was finally able to put to rest matters that were left too long to fester. And with that finally done, might be I can might be I can sit back and enjoy this new world of yours. You're so keen on creating. One don't need a pair of eyes to see the good you've done. Karen. She's so cool. Duty. My Lord Marquess, in your absence shall I watch over my new charges, affording them every protection I am able. I only ask that you do the same for his grace, Jyoti. Of course! He's our brother! Starting over. Clive, I cannot begin to thank you for all you've done for Lost Wing. So in lieu of any awkward remerissements, I shall be sending several barrels of next season's vintage. I can only hope they finally turn you off that foam Miss Will you and yours so covet. <laughs> Quinton. He's also a very good side character. I thought he was so boring at first. I was like, eh. A healer's place. Thank you for helping me guide my mentor free from his mortal coil. Contrary to what the madding crowd believes, we physicers are not without our limits. I cannot hope to cure every ill, mend every wound, save every life. The only medicine that will see you home safe without fail is prevention. Not that this knowledge will ever stop any of you from chasing down some behemoth for its toenails. <laughs> Taria. <laughs> um, do we even have a bag that big? <laughs> Captain Doris. Sir, I and the other Cursebreakers have grown concerned regarding the well-being of our captain. Despite the apparent unrest her recent investigations have visited upon her, Lady Doris refuses all offers of assistance. If it is not too much trouble, I would ask that you please speak with the captain and learn what troubles her so deeply, Cole. There's no way of knowing if Doris will confide in me, but I can speak to her at least. Yeah, we've barely spoken to her. And she hasn't confided in Cole, who she's spending a lot of time with. I mean, every single time we see them, they're together. <laughs> And tail makes four. Clive, there's but one crystal left needs cracking. And but one man who can do it. See that you don't miss, Otto. <laughs> oh, we won't. Oh, in lost there will be found. It is hard to believe Theo is gone. Every morning I wake, I expect him to be there in the stables, watering the birds or readying the packs. Yet he is not. And it is everything I can do not to fall to my knees and weep. Still, I know I have to move on. But that doesn't mean I have to forget. 
My brother and I built all we have here together. So as long as I still have the caravans, he will ever be with me. And I shall honor him in death by carrying on what he strove for in life. That is what I choose. Eloise. <gasps> oh my gosh, I'm so sad for her as well. Just losing her brother like that. The courage to fight. What happened in Eastpool with the bears and the guardians has been a long time coming and I'm proud that it could finally happen here in Rosaria. The Duchy of Old may be no more, but Archduke Elwyn's dream still burns in the hearts of many. And it is through victories such as these that that fire will spread. This is only the beginning, Clive, but a fine beginning it is, Martha. It's so good that they have Martha. I don't know what would happen if if she were to die. She's really the spirit. Okay, speak with Doris in the mess. But we know nothing about Doris. Only that she's a curse breaker. That's about it. It's gonna be interesting. Oh, cutscene. Where are you? Can I help you, Sid? I'm looking for Doris. Is, Is she, she here? not here? I'm afraid not. She's at Martha's rest on a job. My job, actually. When she heard what the mission was, she insisted on going herself. Alone. Did she? What was the mission? Following up on some new information. Once they'd settled in, the bearers you helped liberate in the Dragon's Airy were keen to talk about their imprisonment and about their captor. The slaver Cole's team were tracking when they were attacked by the beastmen. I'll go and find her. She's at Martha's rest, you say? If she's not moved on already, yes. I hope everything's all right. Why would Doris insist on going alone? Maybe Cole was right to be worried. How do you mm. split the sea, you reckon? <laughs> well, reckon we saw that up close. Yeah. But wouldn't it be cool if we could split the sea as well? You know, in case of emergency. At sea. And we kinda have to walk. You never know. We might need it, oh, so... Somewhere nearby. Assuming she's still here. So I want that sword. Putin sword, I want it. Okay, where is she? Search for Doris. Hello? Has anyone seen Doris? The world seems to be changing so fast lately I can hardly keep up. But what I do know is that my doesn't still hurt is good. You can tell that just by looking at people. Where's she at? Just the heavens have gone to wreck and ruin it, don't need more. <sighs> Nearly done. Hello. I've got greens of all shapes and sizes. She is she not around here shopping? Okay then. Well, now I lost it. Is she maybe behind? Oh, oh, there she is. It's been a pleasure, Doris. Just like old times. I'll give your offer some thought, my lady. What were you two talking about? How goes the investigation? Sid, what brings you to Martha's rest? You. I heard you were out here on your own, tracking our slaver. I trust you're being careful. Of course. And it had to be me. The bearers from the Dragon's Airy confirmed a long-held suspicion of mine that the slaver we've been tracking is an old acquaintance. Oh! She's no fool. If we'd come in force, she would have spotted us straight away, and then vanished without a trace. That was her just now, wasn't it? So... Was it a fruitful reunion? I'd say so. She tried to recruit me. Seems her time in Rosaria is coming to an end. She's abducted bearers from across the region and is looking to smuggle them back into Sambrek. After her brush with those beastmen on the road to Northreach, she hired herself an Imperial escort. 
which she wants me to join. She's dangerous, Sid, but I think I can stop her. Then I'm going with you. I'll take care of the escort. You can see the bearers to safety. Where are they? The Baum Arches, soon to break camp. You go on ahead. I'll follow once I've sent word back to the hideaway. Okay, maybe she wanted to do this alone, just so no one else gets in trouble. Self-determination is over there. So we're gonna just transport, teleport like this. Old Hill Docks. Oh! <laughs> Wrong way! I never said I could read a map! Okay, at least we're going the right way now. Baum Arches. <laughs> well then. Mm, why can't I remove this one? It's unchecked! Is... Is it a bug? Or like you have to have at least three of the side quests shown? That could be it. Ready, go. So if I take yet another one, maybe it'll be hidden. Like I can choose to hide it. Oh, now it's open. This wasn't open before. Hmm. Already found something. Good. They haven't broken camp yet. How did Doris come to know a slaver, I wonder? Maybe from her previous? We've waited long enough. She's Why? not coming. <laughs> Ready the bearers. We're leaving. Back to civilization, is it, Mom? With all haste. Lest any of you lackwits start talking like these feckless bumpkins. I presume your men are ready. We've suffered too many delays as it is. Any more and I'll be docking your pay. Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, but before you go, it appears we have company. <sighs> How did she even see us? We were behind the caravan. <sighs> oh, well. <laughs> There's the mage. She didn't have messed with me. I'm really curious to see the fighting with Barnabas' shooting. All the fights, all the boss fights, the major ones, have been so freaking cool. But I cannot wait to continue with the main story. But I'm also, I'm, I'm a too curious person to not do the side quest. I'd be like, why didn't I do the side quest? Now I know nothing about these characters. Or maybe there was some kind of hidden lore. I need to do everything. Enough. Okay, what she got to say now? So much for your escort. <laughs> You'll forgive me for not avenging my men. I'm not the swordswoman I used to be. Oh! I surrender. Do with me as you wish, Sid the Outlaw. Sid! What do you want to happen, Doris? You seem to ah, know her pretty well. Doris. I take it you're not here to rescue me from our brooding renegade? You know, I always wondered where you'd vanished to. 
But casting your lot with this criminal of all people. Better fighting for a cause than killing for coin. I'm sorry, Sid. I should have told you sooner. This woman, my former master, once trained bearer children to be weapons in service of the highest bidder. She raised me like a daughter, and I did terrible things to earn her favor. She manipulated it you. all terrible. Surely. We had our fun, too. She did all the dirty work. All the trade, all the bearers did it. such clever hands. All my other children took either to the blade or to the books. Always either or. But you proved yourself a master of both. That's why I kept you for my own. She used her. It, my little dagger. Care to swear that blade to me again? I never swore my blade to you, nor will I ever. I fight for a higher cause. To liberate the bearers of this world. Farewell, master. Thank you for making me the weapon I am. You always were a righteous child. And that is a good thing. Perhaps that's the reason I loved you so. You're really trying to manipulate her into the end. What We're just gonna to let her, her go? I am not the killer she wanted me to be. Not anymore. But we she are no friends in high places. <laughs> the dame does, though. Her connections at the Imperial Court will see that justice is done. Oh. Right. If you're certain. I am. And thank you for everything. Now, I better let these bearers know that they're safe. I should head back to the hideaway and put Cole's mind at ease. Well, at least she has friends that worry about her. Just like this blacksmith Blackthorn has. He has August. Welcome back, Sid. Doris's message just arrived. I hear you saved more bearers from being smuggled across the border. With any luck, they'll be joining us in the hideaway shortly. Oh, and Muleta. You don't need to worry about Doris anymore. I'd been hoping as much. She mentioned one or two things in her report. So the slaver we'd been chasing all these months was her former master. <laughs> Wish I'd known. She's been arrested, by the way, over in Sambrek. Went quite yes. well, so we're told. And she won't be getting off lightly. The Empire may have no love for bearers, but it's none too fond of black market traders either. <laughs> Can't be easy for Doris. I'm sure it wasn't. But don't worry. She'll be alright. I Hope think so. so too. Suppose you should know, eh? You had quite the past yourself before you came here, or so I understand. Anyway, thanks again, Sid. The curse breakers would be lost without Doris. And you, of course. Keep up the good work, Cole. They're all doing good together. Hmm, what we have now? Covered in nicks and lumps. I think we should just Samurai. speak with Otto. No, too. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. I hope the other quests aren't crossed out. Oh, okay. Okay. Doesn't seem that way. So can we progress over there without doing the other? Hmm. 
I'm a little bit afraid. Okay, duty on dying is there. It's inaccessible. There's a hidden place over there. Maybe something on the hunt's board. Fly Ambrosia. Maybe I just have to finish all the other side quests or I have to get myself over the ocean and then maybe it'll be accessible. Could be. Or it could mean that I I need either like Joshua or Jill with me to continue that one. Could also be that. We'll just have to see. I check the map when I'm not alone. This might take a while. But it's gonna be interesting to see the other side of the ocean, how it looks like. How storm ash looks like. All right. Bye! Can't we just pull up with Ambrosia in a boss fight? That would be something. Oh, an obelisk was here. Correct ob. We... We're here! What happened? You'll pay for this! Let's go! So it was just closed off that way. Oh. Hold on. I have Gav with me as well? better be giving me a good cutscene then if I've got both Joshua and Gab with me Caution, brother. Caution? Uh, Whatever that thing is Fool's gold Say it's their lead Then you need to annihilate it <laughs> Even the regular fighting is fun as well. I usually have like a feeling when when uh, it's like the turn-based one or when uh, enemies just appear, you know, the random encounters. They can get pretty repetitive. Especially since they're not quests. Final Fantasy 16 has been so freaking good. Because I haven't had to grind anything. Not for any item, not for any material, not for leveling or anything like that. We've just managed just really well without having to grind. These must be Cyril's colleagues. Yep, they wear the same robes. You have our thanks, stranger. Who are you? Ah, forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. 
You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them, and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. So what did you gather? Of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? I know they would. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. That sounds a bit... Now, hmm? To what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. That was indeed a bit questionable of them. It's one hmm. thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey... <laughs> Forgive them, Clive. It better be a the good undying one. dying live by a very different creed, and nothing we say will change that. Come, let us deliver their findings to Cyril, that their deaths might not be in vain. You know what, Joshua? You are a bit right about that. It's like culture. Can't really criticize someone's culture like that. But still. Uh, where was it? Oh, in here. I'm not used with Tabor yet. Ah, you are returned, my lord. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. Threat of report. I hope we get to know some things. I shall study oh. them and inform oh. you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Thank you, thank you. Cyril, your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. What losses does he have to say? Weird. Had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends? Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty, and should we die in discharging it, so be it. Even when death is avoidable. My lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations, and your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose, and that purpose alone. Cyril, I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. If you will permit me to respond, our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the Undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him. As first shield to the Phoenix, I am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty. I do. Then we are of the same mind. And it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty 
together. Okay, but I want to know what you find. Because anything that has to do with Ultima, we need to know. What if the guy is immortal? What will we do about that? And what will happen when we finish off the last crystal? Western Ash. I just had to go here, okay? Reckon it'll be a long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Be careful. Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Oh, what is it about? You took her icon, didn't you? Yeah. Yes, I did. She understood. She wanted to help you. <laughs> what? Oh, she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. But I will. You can't keep pushing us away, Clive. The world is ours to save, not yours. We're a team. Of course, it should be all of us. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. If you really believe that, and then so be it. I'm game. Just don't forget, you're not alone. That's what Jill also said. <sighs> Think I found us a trail. Uh, did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> he did not miss, all right. That was right up there in the face. <laughs> that was such a funny comment. Okay, on Walud ground. Footfalls in Ash. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Skate far. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. <laughs> Shall we sample its inhabitants' hospitality? <laughs> okay, such a funny trio. I hope we get to have this trio. A bit longer boy. for the entirety of our Ash tour. <laughs> okay, this is it for this episode. So thank you all for watching. Bye bye.